let's go ahead and import the existing ground train model from our XML file. So I'm going to come up here to our train modeling tab, go to create, and then select from file. You can see we have a terrain under bar existing XML file here. I'm going to click select that and then click done. It's going to open the import terrain models dialog box. You'll see there's the terrain name here. You can see the uh, coordinate system shows up at the top there under the projection panel. And then here in the feature definition portion of the dialog, under the file options, you need to pay attention to this. Um, this is the feature definition for the terrain model, and this controls the display of the terrain model once it's imported. So sometimes you want to see existing contours or existing triangles when you import your data. Uh, we want to see our existing contours when we import our data. So we're going to set the feature definition to existing contours, and that's going to control the display of the terrain model once we import it. So it's going to show us existing contours. Okay, so you want to make sure you set that. And if we scroll and browse down, you can see some of the other options here. I'm just going to leave all those set as they are by default. And then we're going to come over here and select import. And then it's going to go ahead and import that Lend XML file into our 3D design file. So again, we are working in a 3D design file when we're working with train models, so keep that in mind. Once it's finished, we can go in here and fit the view, and you can see our existing contours for our train model have now been imported. Now, right now, what you're looking at is the top view in the 3D model. Inside of Open Roads Designer, we have eight possible view windows that we can define for various views. Um, you can also rotate the views around if you need to. You'll see a little crosshairs that show up in the middle of the screen. If you want to rotate the view around, it's more like an isometric view to look for any erroneous data or spikes in your existing train model, you can do that by simply clicking near the crosshairs and then holding down your left mouse button and then moving your cursor around.